Okay, this is wild. This is a freebie. I found a swarm of bees on my Chinese pistache tree in the backyard today. I saw this big mass and I wasn't sure what it was. So I walked out and sure enough it was this clump of bees. So I called Queen Breeze Bees and Honey or something in Oklahoma City because I searched bee swarm on Google and found them. Um, she said it was a little far for her to come, but she'd put it out to her fellow beekeepers and someone would come get the bees. And so I called this gentleman, this is Ed, and Ed is a beekeeper, and he is coming out to basically vacuum up the swarm. And he said it weighs probably about two and a half pounds, and it's probably two to three thousand bees. He said it's actually a pretty small swarm. But I really wanted to make sure that these bees go to a new home. Uh, bees are just so important to our pollination and to all of our plants. So I was actually kind of excited. I thought, oh good, I'll have bees for my garden when it gets better because it's not there yet. Um, but at any rate, I really don't have a place to um, take care of bees right now because I'm not a beekeeper. So we are working this through with Ed, who's experienced at handling bees. And he's got this kind of cool little, kind of a shot back kind of thing, where he's actually vacuuming up the bees, and then he will put them in this hive over here. And then the hive he'll take back to his place where he keeps bees. And they will be added, they will, he said that it's likely that there was a new queen and the new queen it took these bees with her to start a new hive, I guess. Every now and then we see some scout bees flying around, flying off. Um, just kind of crazy. I, I've, I've never had this happen. <laughs> a new experience for life. And uh, I'm not getting other work done, but this is, this is pretty cool. So at any rate, Ed and I got talking about bees and what he's doing with them and how he keeps them and just kind of a cool experience to get to know that we're going to put these bees in a new place and they'll have a new home and they can help pollinate lots of plants around here and keep the cycle going with our plants. I have no idea how long this is going to take. And of course my battery is a little low. I was in the process of charging it when I discovered all this. Kind of a fascinating process. You can see that Ed's got his beekeeper helmet on and his jacket just to, a little extra precaution, but he said they're pretty sedentary. It's pretty cool here today. It's about 52, 55 degrees. And uh, I kind of guessed that the cooler weather would keep them Palmer he said I was pretty accurate with that, so it was good to know I had some common sense about bees. Never thought I'd see vacuuming up bees. So I lived in St. Louis for 34 years. I saw lots and lots of bees in my garden, and then I moved to Oklahoma City, and within six or seven months I get our very own personal swarm of bees. The funniest part is that we just planted this tree a few weeks ago so we didn't even have a tree back here until then. But now we do. And hopefully our battery will last long enough to see this whole procedure. See it's smaller, kind of the, the ball of the swarm has gotten smaller. So I'm actually going to stop this Facebook Live and then if there's any more exciting activity, I will post a second Facebook Live 
and I'll also put a few pictures that I've taken onto the Green Home Coach website where we'll post this and hopefully if you get a chance to watch it you'll see what it's all about to move a bee swarm to a new home. Hey it's Marla with Green Home Coach. Appreciate you tuning in and learning a little bit about bees today. Have a great day.